Uh, I, I wasn't in the... Oh. There was a fucking brutal one as well. I don't like, think Child Left Burning. Child Left Burning. I, I, wasn't, I was lucky. I wasn't in the band when they, they were called those horrible names. So when I joined, I was like, here's my list of shit names. There's I Killed the Prom Queen. And that's how it happened. And when did Prom Queen form? Because they were already they were already in a band and they kind of just were like, oh, you sh- you might know how to sing. And they threw you in the thick of it kind of thing. Um, th- th- There was like multiple bands. And we were kind of in one. JJ was in one. Um, Lee Stacey, who owns Stacey Surfboards. I don't know. People that surf would know who Stacey yeah. Surfboards are. It was like a legend. All like dudes from Victor Harbour. And then um, they just started a band all together. It was kind of weird because I don't know how they all became friends. Because we were from such different circles. We still went to hardcore shows, but we were... Were you all from Adelaide? Well, yeah, because they were from Victor. We are all from Carnival Dinga. And then they started and then I went to a few shows and then end, somehow I was, ended up in the band. Which yeah, is right. fucking... No, if I, you didn't know how to sing or anything. No, no, because I'd done a few bands before. So, like, in my time in, in... Oh, fuck. I was probably 14 or 15 playing bass in a punk band. Then... Um, just trying to think of the timeline. Played bass in a punk band. Then I was in fucking, like, I, I, I was in a, me and Jonah were in class together. He turned around. He's like, do you want to sing in a band? I was like, yeah, sure. So then um, I remember we'd go to band practice and I just had no fucking idea. But at yeah. the same time, it's like, if you have no idea, somehow you're going to work it out anyway. Like, it's not rocket science. It's you scream into a microphone. If you don't work it out, your fucking voice hurts. So then I'd finish and I'd be like, oh, my fucking voice hurts. I was listening to you. I was listening yesterday all day to Confession and, and Prom Queen. And fuck, you, you, you got a good voice. With, like You had a fucking ripper voice. Well, I feel like in that time it went from multiple styles too. Like I was like... I didn't really have an idea how to start, so I was like trying to be heavy. Then it was heaps more screamy, and then I think I just kind of worked it out. I honestly feel like with confession, my voice is at its best. So it kind of sucks now when looking at it because I was like, oh, if Prom Queen recorded music again, it probably sound fucking good. But we're fucking forty. <laughs> oh, you still got a run in you for sure. Oh fuck! I'm... Can do you still got it? Do you still sing? I I think um, when we go play shows, like when Confession just does a here, there, or whatever show, because every now and again we'll go, oh, let's just play. Like we did Sydney and Newcastle and Perth, and it was cool. It was good to be playing shows, and it, it was for me. It was good to play because of Kennedy. She hadn't seen. A show so is that your got, daughter yeah so she got to come and although she thought it was okay for about 10 minutes and got bored but she still got to see it yeah. which is cool you know so i was <laughs> stoked um and then i've got plans to do other shit in the future but fuck you're a busy dude busy yeah it's hard when you're busy and you got like when you're running the fucking business Fuck, it's, it's, I was, I was talking to a mate today. It's, it's so easy if you go work for someone and fucking whatever, but you literally, if you're running your own business, you not only do whatever it is through the day, you're getting fucking phone calls, you're driving, I've I've got multiple tattoo shops here, there and everywhere. I've got to go fucking pick shit up, drop shit off. I've got to see people in council. Deal with your 25 staff. Yeah, deal, deal with the fucking staff, which, like, most of them are legends and cruisy, but then every now and again there's a bit of a fuck up or maybe there's some issues between some people and then um, to add to that, then I've got to be at fucking 3 o'clock school pickup. Yeah, and be got, a dad. they got to drop Kennedy off and then I'll wake up with ADHD brain at fucking like 3 a.m. and just be like, oh, I need to do this before tomorrow and I'll just get my computer out and sit up for two hours, go back to sleep at five until like seven and then I'll get up and do it all again. Yeah, right.